Right, good afternoon everybody. Uh, new day and new permission. This is the one what we've been waiting for to get cut. There's Manda. Hi man. Oh my zoom's right in here. Um, yeah, it's the first time we've been on and well basically just walked in through that gate. Uh, I thought, hey up here we go, I've just got myself an half a pence. Oh I'm zoomed right in. Let me just change my zoom. That's better. Right. He's gone back to the detective. Anyway, uh, I got myself a little half pence, 1971. That one. Um, the next signal, which is just just there, is a 1940 weapons. And that was like one inch deep. Um, so I've just come up about another 10 foot up for you now, and I've just had a, a signal here. Got myself a blank, old blank Georgie, so... I'm, I'm thinking it's not been done before. And I think it's probably been ploughed as well. Because that half a P was deep. That was about an inch deep, and that one was about four inches deep, maybe. Manda's just had a clean from over there, and that's just brought it over to me. She's had a ship half penny. Uh, I can't see. Can't see the date on that. That'll be probably 1940s anyway. Um, so yeah, the screen's here. That's four screens. We've been here less than ten minutes, so all's good so far. Right. See you on the next one. Right, guys. Um, and this time it's not a coin. This time, but I'm filming it. I've never seen one like that before. It's a thimble with a flat end. Weird. Not seen one of them before. So I don't know how old that is. It's probably modern, but I've never seen one with a flat end. An actually inverted end. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Copper all, cap, bleh, copper alloy. Um, still haven't found my silver one yet, but here we go. You never know. It's red hot today. Right. See in a bit. Right guys, uh, this could actually turn out to be a good permission, this. Um, here's Manda now. Um, just give me two seconds, get me ten open. I've just had another shilling, cheaper nickel one, uh, 1948. Uh, uh, 1p, and just from here now, I've just had a silver. George V. I think Manda's got a silver as well. Uh, 1931 sixpence. So, could turn out to be a good day there. What is man? What you got? Oh, Manda's got a sixpence. All down now. That's mine. Nice. nice one, George Six. 19 what? 42. Nice one. Just barely 50% with mine. Yeah. So that's 50%, that's 50%, so we need to get back a little bit on date. So, yeah, not bad. A couple of silvers just come out straight away together. Right, let's carry on. See you in a bit. Right, guys, uh, just after that sixpence now, I've just had another threatening bit. Uh, 1944. That one's knackered, and uh, there's the sixpence I had before, point with that. Uh, I've just come over from just there, I've just had that threat me bit now, and I've just had myself another silver. <laughs> another little sixpence, George V. This one's 1931. Oh, that's 31 as well, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Both 1931, pretty cool. There's gonna be more. Right, let's carry on. See you in a bit. Right, everybody. Um, I thought I'd come up the field just to see if there's any older stuff up here. Uh, I've just had a deep one here now. Uh, it's a George II. You can just see his cliff there at the top. Facing to the left. So, we're getting back a 
bit now. Uh, what, mid 1700s, something like that. So that's pretty cool. Possibility of damage around here then, I think. Right, we carry on and see you in a minute. Right, chaps, uh, just got a signal here. Uh, just pulled out a ship off Penny, 1947. Georgia set. sit down because I'm absolutely red off it's roasting today I know it's cloudy but <sighs> uh, so yeah seems to be a lot of wartime stuff going on around here and a bit slightly more modern like early Elizabeth II stuff especially over by the Sunday school there uh, and the older stuff seems to be further on up the field so I'm going to head up to this edge line here and walk all the way around the top of there see if there's anything up there if my legs are lulled out Right, Amanda's right over there by the Sunday school. Okay, crack on. See you at the next, hopefully.